Today, I'm talking about probably the most well-known allegory in philosophy, Plato's Allegory of the Cave. So just for a little background knowledge, Plato was a Greek philosopher, student of Socrates, teacher to Aristotle, who was a tutor of... Yeah, we don't talk about that. Plato was born around 428 BC, and he had a very different view of what reality is which he believed was best expressed through his allegory. Now, keep in mind, at this time, philosophical views weren't viewed all too well. After all, his teacher Socrates had recently... Yeah. He was executed for corrupting the youth. Of course, Plato here did not want to follow that route. So, instead of being forward with his ideas, we get the allegory of the cave. Now, in this allegory, there are three guys, prisoners if you will, and they have been tied up in this cave since they were born. It is all they have ever known. Now, behind them in this cave, there is this fire that dimly illuminates everything. And behind this fire, there are people walking by casting shadows on the wall in front of them. Now again, this is all they've ever known, so they believe that this 2D world, it's reality. Now, one day, one of these guys escapes his bounds. Woo! Finally freed for the first time ever, he turns to face the fire. But to no one's surprise, it burns his eyes. He wishes to go back to the familiarity of his restraints, but there's no going back. And eventually, after looking at the fire for a long period of time, he acclimatizes to it. Pfft, fire, big deal. Now, at this point, he can see the cave pretty well. So much so that he actually sees this tunnel, a way out that he never even knew existed. So he starts climbing his way out of the tunnel, and he sees all these colors that he's never seen before. What? So he frolics around in the sunlight before realizing, well, of course he has to go tell the other prisoners. So he stumbles back into the cave, now disoriented by the lack of light. And when he finally reaches the cave, the others just laugh at him. They just see him stumbling around. What does he know? He's just talking nonsense. But the escaped prisoner insists that this world exists, which makes the other prisoners angry. Now, this really confuses the escape prisoner, because why would they be angry? This is amazing. Why don't they just escape? Well, this allegory becomes a whole lot more meaningful when we look into some of Plato's beliefs. Plato believed that for us to truly know something, it has to sit still. But according to a philosopher before him, Heraclitus, everything is in constant motion. So, with this in mind, how do we gain true knowledge? Well, to explain this, Plato believed in two realities. One of these realities is the world of becoming. That is our physical world, which is just always changing. And his other idea of reality, the world of being. This world of perfect, unchanging ideas. Now, our world, the world of becoming, is this distorted reflection of the world of being. A shadow, if you will. See where I'm going with this? The cave in Plato's allegory represents the world of becoming and is illuminated by a limited truth, otherwise known as the fire. The shadows cast from this limited truth are what little knowledge we're able to gain through our empirical senses. At the end of enlightenment is the world of being. Now, the reason why the current prisoners ignore the escaped prisoner, that shows how comfortable we are in, in our current reality. A lot of people don't actually want to enlighten themselves. That's not needed for their everyday lives. Now, these were some crazy concepts from back in 400-something BC, but some of his ideas still carry over to today. Now, by all means, comment what you think those are, and while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.